Welcome to Frank Talk About Sensors. I'm Randy Frank, and I'll be developing short informative videos for sensor tips, discussing technologies, applications, products, hot topics, events, and market research that specifically involves sensors. In this initial video, we'll deal with a topic near and dear to me, smart sensors. Since I wrote the first edition of the book Understanding Smart Sensors in 1995 and subsequently updated it in 2000, the sensor community has continually improved and expanded the capability of smart sensors. However, the term smart sensor itself can be quite confusing. Many companies use the term smart sensor to describe a sensor with more than a basic sensing function, one with some level of added intelligence. Some even use the terminology in the name of their company. For example, Smart Sensors Inc. makes a number of smart sensors, including the Smart Sanitary RTD sensor shown here. However, if you want plug-and-play functionality from a network of sensors, IEEE specifically developed 1451 standards for smart sensors. Several terms were defined to make plug-and-play sensing possible. The terms include things like the, the TEDs, the Transducer Electronic Data Sheet, a STEM, a Smart Transducer Interface Module, NCAP, the Network Capable Applications Processor, and the TII, the Transducer Independent Interface. This figure shows these sensor attributes, how they enable plug and play. A stem with TEDs describing the sensor's capabilities interfaces with a TII through an NCAP to the network where it can communicate with other IEEE 1451 capable sensors. The most recent addition to the 1451 family of specifications is IEEE 1451.5. This specification adds wireless communication to the network. A smart Sensors Systems Tiny Tim Smart Sensor Module specifically applies with the IEEE 1451 standard. That's the new wireless one there. And Smart Sensors Systems also has the term Smart Sensors the title of the company. Their module uses Bluetooth wireless technology to provide mix and match capability with IEEE 1451 compliant sensors for other manufacturers. It interfaces to most industry sensors through a cable and a DB37 connector. For more information on the items discussed in this Frank talk on sensors, check out the links shown on this slide. That's it for now.